Hello and welcome to Virtual Science Night. Today we are going to be making rock crystals. So what you're going to need for that is a little candy stick, a plate with some granulated sugar on it, a mug that can fit one cup of water, two cups of granulated sugar, a pot with one cup of water where we're going to go boil in our sugar mixture, and two clothespins. So now we're gonna go take this over to the stove and we're gonna boil our one cup of water and add our two cups of sugar. All right guys, so now that we have our one cup of water boiling, you're gonna add one cup of sugar at a time. Make sure that you do this with your parents' supervision. And where this is gonna make our super saturated sugar. And then just keep adding one cup at a time and just keep stirring until this dissolves in. So now that one cup is pretty much dissolved in, we're going to add the second cup of sugar. and then just keep stirring. So this is gonna form your super saturated solution. All that means is that there's gonna be more sugar dissolved in the water when it's boiling than when you would just have water at room temperature. You'd probably see all of these crystals still in it because it didn't dissolve in. So when it's nice and hot, you're gonna get all of this crystal dissolved, but when we let this cool, you'll start to see the crystals come out and that's how you get the crystals onto the candy sticks. Last bit of sugar. That looks like we got all of the sugar dissolved. So now we're gonna take it, turn off the stove and let this cool. So now that we have our super saturated sugar solution, we're gonna start prepping our candy stick while this stuff cools. So you're gonna dump it into the solution just to get it all nice and coated. And while it's wet, you're going to rub it through this granulated sugar. Since the plate I used is not completely even there. <laughs> and this is gonna be your seed for the crystals. Basically, you just need to start with a little crystal here. And then as the crystals come out, of solution when it cools, then they will attach on to the candy stick. We're going to use the clothespins to keep this from touching the bottom because once it touches the bottom, it's going to get stuck there with the rock crystal. So you want it just to be a little above the bottom and not touching the sides. So now you have your candy stick prepped. Your solution is cool. If you wanna add food coloring or any flavoring, you can now and just stir it in. We're not going to for this video. And all you're going to do pour your solution into your mug. We tried to choose something that was tall enough to fit, get most of your stick into this rock candy and thin enough that if you have too big of a jug or a mug, you're going to only have a little bit of your rock candy in. Then just add your rock candy. And now this will sit for three to seven days. So then the longer you let it sit, the more crystals you will have attached. 
and in order to avoid bugs and other insects trying to come to this sugary solution, you can cover it with um, tin foil or cling wrap. And if you are getting one of the kits from our outreach program, one of the free kits, we do recommend that you do not eat this rock crystals just because we've kitted it and we don't want to spread COVID or anything like that. But if you're getting the sugar yourself and you're doing all of this on your own, feel free to eat it at that point. Mm -hmm. 